Hey everyone, this is Marty here. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to buy USDC, send it to your MetaMask, bridge it to the Arbitrum network, all in this video. It's gonna be super easy and you can do this all through your phone. Now, whenever you're doing anything like this, when you're trying to you know, send a token from a centralized exchange to a hot wallet, like a MetaMask, a Trust Wallet, uh, any other, um, like mobile or desktop wallet it's always best to do it on the computer but as we know not all of us actually do have a computer or access to one so thanks to technology and the evolution you can do it all via your phone so let's just jump into it so as you can see i'm in my coinbase here and what you want to do is obviously one have money in your coinbase and then two you want to buy usdc okay so uh, what you'll do is you search up usdc you'll buy you know however much you want to bridge over to arbitrum now the really cool thing is the fees are going to be very low with Arbitrum or really any other uh, layer one or layer two solution that's not Ethereum. So what I personally did was I actually bought USDC on Coinbase. I then withdrew it to my MetaMask on the Polygon network, and then I bridged it from Polygon to Arbitrum. And the reason for that is because it's very low fees. I was looking earlier today, um, it was like 20 or $30, you know, just in Ethereum gas, which is, you know, still it's not that bad compared to last bull run where it was like hundreds of dollars. Uh, but, you know, with Polygon, it's like always less than a penny in Arbitrum, same thing. So once you uh, buy however much USCC you want to do, whether it's $100 or $500 or $50, you'll go to send. Okay. And then it's obviously going to ask you to input the address. And from there, what you want to do is you want to come over to your MetaMask. Now, if you guys haven't set up a MetaMask before um, or ever used one, you know, do go on YouTube. There are a great, uh, a lot of great tutorials out there. I actually have a couple on the uh, old CoinPix uh, YouTube channel. So go ahead and uh, check those out. So what you're going to do is underneath account, uh, you know, it says account one and underneath the money um, amount, you're going to tap uh, right there where it says 0x7 and, you know, 4c5. That is your public address. And one thing to note is that address is going to be the same for all the different networks. So whether it's for Ethereum uh, main network, uh, Binance Smart Chain, Arbitrum, Polygon, it's always going to be the same exact um, wallet address. So, you know, if you accidentally sent um, Ethereum to Polygon, but you meant to send it to Arbitrum, well, it doesn't matter because it's still going to be going to that same exact MetaMask wallet. You're just going to have to obviously bridge. But again, what you want to do is you want to copy the address right there. So let me uh, go to Polygon really quickly. So there you go. Um, as you can see, I have some Polygon token. And another thing to note is whatever uh, network you're sending it to, you're going to need to have a little bit of that native token in that network. So what do I mean? So for instance, and if you're going to be using the Polygon mainnet like I did, you're going to need Matic token to cover the gas fees because that's how it works. Whatever mainnet you're on, it is going to use the native token to, uh, you know, pay for the gas fees and stuff like that. Um, so that's why, you know, Matic, uh, you know, I have $2 worth of Matic. And, you know, if you were using Ethereum, you, were, you would have a little bit of ETH in there to cover the ETH gas. Now, with Arbitrum, since they don't have their own token yet, right, they're about to airdrop it, um, you can use um, Ethereum as well. It's actually going to be wrapped Ethereum or the Ethereum native to Arbitrum. So you're going to need to have a little bit of uh, Ethereum on your Arbitrum as well, which is the same process of bridging it over, which I'm going to show you. So again, uh, I'm going to polygon name, uh, mainnet. So I copy my address. I then go uh, back to Coinbase. Um, you know, could do a allow paste or don't allow paste. You know, I usually don't do allow. You paste it in, and again, you always want to check your first three and your last three, okay? So again, it's always going to be the same for whatever uh, network you're sending it on from your MetaMask. So my um, first three is 0x7, zero, zero and my last three is 4c5. You click on continue, and then this is where you are now going to input how much you want to send, and then select your network. So as you can see, it says network Ethereum. You would select that, and uh, right now, they only support four, Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, and AVAX C-Chain. I'm sure they're going to add more, but I did Polygon. All right. Uh, and then again, you just input the amount and then it's probably going to ask you to input your Google Authenticator or text message code. Go ahead and do that and then it will send. So once you get there, um, you should see it pop up in your MetaMask. OK, if you don't see USDC, you're going to click right here where it says import token. Right. It says don't see your token. Click import token and then you're going to search for tokens. Um, you should just be able to type in USDC and there it is. OK. Now, in the off chance um, that, you know, you can't search for it because some networks, you know, are still fairly new, you are going to have to go to custom token and you're going to have to input the token address. And in order to do that, what you're going to have to do is go to like a coin market cap or coin gecko um, and search up that token. So you'd come to USDC. Okay. 
And then from there, uh, you should be able, it's a little bit different on mobile, so give me one second here, guys. Do, 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 do. Con yeah, so uh, if you're on the mobile app, you're gonna scroll down to where it says contracts, tap there, and then this is gonna have all the different addresses to import USDC to all the different networks. So as you can see, it has Ethereum, Solana, Algorand. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come all the way down to either Arbitrum um, or Polygon, but as you can see for Polygon, I didn't have to do it, but um, you are gonna have to do it for Arbitrum. So uh, once you get to Arbitrum, you just you know tap on copy, and then you would uh, go back to your MetaMask, all right? Uh, and then once you are back in your MetaMask, you would just paste the token address, and then it would fill everything out, which I'll show you, okay? So now that we got our USDC on Polygon, because I've already done this, you know, I have a little bit left over, now what we have to do is we have to bridge it to Arbitrum or really to whatever network that you want to do this for, okay? Again, this is specific for Arbitrum, but if you want to do it to Binance Smart Chain, it's the same exact process. So what you're going to do from there is in the bottom right, there is a browser, right? It says browser, tap on that. And this is the built-in browser within MetaMask, which is really cool. Now, what they use is something known as DuckDuckGo, uh, okay? Um, and then from there, what you want to do is you want to type in either multi-chain, because that's how I remember it, uh, and then just click search, all right, because it's going to use DuckDuckGo. It's going to be the first link, okay, multi-chain.org, click on that. Uh, and then as you can see, it actually pulls up the um, DAP, which is really cool. Again, you can do all this with your phone, which is insane. You know, going back a couple years ago, this wasn't even possible. And then there you go. So what multi-chain is, um, it, it's a bridge, okay? And this basically is going to allow you to bridge tokens from any network, uh, really any asset. You know, if you tap here, as you can see, they support a bunch of different tokens, which is really crazy. Again, just a couple of years ago, there weren't that many bridges. There wasn't that much support. So, you know, DeFi is really moving in a, in a uh, lightning uh, fast speed. And then, um, as you can see, my wallet is already connected. So what are we trying to do again? We're trying to bridge USDC Polygon Mainnet to... USDC on the Arbitrum mainnet, okay? Now, USDC is pretty much gonna be on every single network. Um, if you are doing a specific token, let's say if I was trying to do, I don't know, um, uh, ARV, right? Let's, let's do that. Um, what you'll notice is not every network is gonna support every single token. So that's why I like to do stablecoin. It just makes it so much easier. So again, we'll go back to USDC. Again, you always wanna double check. And then boom, from there, you'd be able to uh, bridge it over. So obviously I can't do it because I've already done it. But then what you would do is you would type in, you know, how much you want to send. And then one of two things is going to happen. Either one, they're going to ask you to approve USDC, which is going to be very cheap. You'll click on approve. You have to wait for that transaction to go through. And then once it does, um, you just have to double check. Make sure, again, type in the amount you want to send. Make sure it's going from Polygon to Arbitrum. And then you would uh, actually do the swap. And it happens very quickly. Um, as you can see, you know, the gas fees are going to be very low. Um, you know, the minimum amount is 12 USDC. And then, um, you know, it says 10 to 30 minutes. I mean, it's not really that congested right now, so it shouldn't take that long. And then, yeah, from there, uh, it would get bridged over. And then what you would want to do is you want to come back to your wallet. Um, you just would want to confirm it. Um, or you can actually do the um, Etherscan data. So you would, you know, uh, click on USDC, you know, if it hasn't left yet. You tap on USDC. You go on the top right here with the three dots. And you click on View Block Explorer. And then what you're going to want to do in there is actually input your MetaMask address. So you click on paste if you still have it copied, which I think for me, this is the wrong one. So let me go back, tap on that, USDC, view block explorer, paste, search, and then boom. Yeah, it's going to pop up. So all I do is scroll down. And then as you can see, this was the transaction that I had right here. And it's going to have the transaction hash. I tap on that. And then once you scroll down, it'll tell you all the details. So as you can see, it shows that I transferred uh, $99 worth of USDC um, uh, through multi-chain. And it says, you know, from what address to where it went. Uh, and it's obviously going from Matic to Arbitrum, okay? And then from there, it's pretty straightforward. You come back here, uh, tap on the different networks. And if you don't see Arbitrum, you just click on Add Network. And it should have all the popular ones. Um, if not, you know, Custom Network, it would be the same exact process um, you, it's a little bit different. Um, you know, there's like a specific, uh, website you could go to, um, to get all the different networks, but it should have all the popular networks on there. So I'm sure Arbitrum is going to be up there as, as well as you can see optimism, AVAX, things like that. So if you don't see Arbitrum in there, just click on again. Um, you'd click on, you go to mainnet and you click on add network and it should be in there. Okay. Um, so, uh, once you do that, you go to Arbitrum and then boom, it should be right there. But like I mentioned, 
Um, Arbitrum, you know, if you want to do an import token, as you can see, it doesn't allow you to search. So this is where you would have to go the coin market cap route. Okay. So you go here again, USD coin, search it up, scroll down, it says contracts right here, tap, and then scroll down until you see Arbitrum. You'd copy that address, go back to your MetaMask, paste the address. All right. You could either type it in or it should auto fill it for you. Click import and then boom, there it is. And then now you are ready to go. And now you actually have money on Arbitrum and you can check out all the different, you know, dApps that support Arbitrum. So for instance, I could go to Uniswap, okay? And Uniswap supports a lot of different protocols or at least, you know, the most liquid ones. Click on launch app. And then as you can see, it says connect. It's obviously going to ask you for your MetaMask. All right, tap there. And that's already automatically on Arbitrum. But if you tap down here, as you can see, it supports, you know, Celo. BNB is very big now. It's recent Ethereum Polygon. And now I'll be able to trade on the Arbitrum network on Uniswap all through my phone. Don't even have to use a computer. So there you go, guys. There is the tutorial. Uh, obviously, if you appreciate this content, leave a like, subscribe, uh, share this video with whoever, you know, th you think this could help. If not, obviously, leave some constructive criticism. Or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll make sure to answer every single one of them. And I'll catch you in the next one.